John Wayne was larger than life, and apparently so was his colon. But is there any truth to that 140 pound rumor? Wayne has had a strange afterlife due to a rumor, a gross one, about his death. Wayne died of colon cancer in 1979 at the age of 72. He'd been treated for the condition earlier that year, and his stomach and gallbladder had been surgically removed. Some believe his final illness was related to his carnivorous diet, and a rumor spread that Wayne's autopsy found 40 pounds of impacted fecal matter, some sources even say red meat, in the actor's system. The story has stuck around for decades, but the fact is such a thing is medical impossible. Despite the rumor being widely circulated around the turn of the millennium, there's no evidence that pathologists discovered any unusual material in his colon, and at the time it was simply reported to the public that the actor died of cancer. But the John Wayne rumor remains a talking point in online discussions around diet and healthy eating, quoted as anecdotal evidence in support of vegetarian or vegan diets. The story is also cited by enthusiasts of colon cleansing, an enema treatment purported to improve digestive health and even help people lose weight. I'm Tom Kalanick. As mayor, I would say Set long-term goals that include ordering salads and eating bran. Colon cleansing was something of a health bat among celebrities in the 1990s, but has been widely debunked in recent years, with experts noting that the procedure has few tangible benefits. Although we know Wayne didn't have 40 pounds of anything in his digestive tract at the time of his death, Elvis Presley was widely reported to have been suffering from similar digestive problems when he died. In fact, in a 1999 USA Today article, Kathy Hayner claims the king of rock and roll had 60 pounds of fecal material in his colon. According to Charles C. Thompson II and James P. Cole's 1991 book, The Death of of Elvis what really happened, pathologists did find one shocking detail during Presley's autopsy. His colon was dilated to almost twice its natural size and compacted with white, chalk-like fecal material. Pathologist Dan Warlick explained to the authors that he believed the grim state of Presley's bowel was the result of prolonged drug use, which can paralyze the digestive system. It appears that this disturbing detail may have been misattributed to John Wayne, who died two years after Presley. The rumor about John Wayne's impacted bowel resulting from a diet high in meat consumption seems to have no basis in fact. But there were two major factors that may have increased the likelihood of the actor developing cancer. The first, unsurprisingly, was smoking. Well, after you've been making a lot of strenuous scenes, you like to sit back and enjoy a cool, mild, good-tasting cigarette. According to the New York Times, Wayne, like many Hollywood stars of his time, smoked almost constantly, working his way through up to five packs of cigarettes a day, 100 cigarettes in total, before undergoing treatment for lung cancer in 1964. Another theory, which it must be said hasn't been proven, claims that Wayne may have had an elevated cancer risk as a result of radiation exposure. In 1954, Wayne starred in the movie The Conqueror, which was shot in the Utah desert. For while I have fingers to grasp a sword and eyes to see, your treacherous head is not safe on your shoulders. At the time, the United States Atomic Energy Commission was in the process of detonating more than 100 nuclear bombs as part of the Manhattan Project. This turned vast stretches of the desert into a dangerous zone of radioactive fallout. The year after Wayne's death, People magazine highlighted the abnormally high cancer rates among the Conqueror's 220 cast and crew members. By 1980, 91 had been diagnosed with cancer and 46 had died. According to The Guardian, one bereft nuclear scientist was quoted as saying, Please, God, don't let us have killed John Wayne. 